Barolo is regarded by many wine lovers as the king of Italian wines. And it's definitely deserving of that reputation since it can only be made in 11 small villages in a very restricted area in the Lange of only around 4,000 acres. But despite being all produced in such a small area, not all Barolos are created equal. In fact, each of the 11 villages has its own peculiarity, like the wine from Seralunga that we're gonna taste today. Hi, I'm Jacqueline from Vero, and today we're looking at this interpretation of the Barolo Seralunga from winemaker Aldo Clerico. Aldo Clerico is a small producer from the Lange, the famous wine growing area located in Piedmont in the north of Italy. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Area and with the rolling hills and vineyards it's easy to see why. Aldo's winery is located in Monforte d'Alba, but the grapes for this Barolo come from a different place, the village of Seralunga. As we said earlier, the Barolo wine can only be made in a restricted area of 11 small villages. Despite being so close to each other, the Barolos that come from each of these villages are noticeably different to one another when they're single vineyards. There are many reasons for that, but when it comes to Seralunga, the main reason is to be found in the specific geology of the area. Around Seralunga, the soils are the oldest of the area, and they have a more chalky consistency filled with limestone. Being the oldest of the area, it has an overall thinner layer of soil, and many believe it causes the vine roots to grow deeper, helping to develop rich tannins and flavors. In general, aficionados live by the rule that Barolos from this area are very age-worthy and do better with extra time in the cellar. The aspect of the wine in the glass tells us that we are in front of an important and age-worthy wine. The extensive aging that this and all Barolos undergo translates to a milder color, but still keeps with the typical garnet tonality from Nebbiolo-based wines. The bouquet of this Barolo is rich, with the typical hints of dried violets popping out in a balanced mix with the aromas of red fruits and berries and forest floor even. The bouquet is austere and profound and dominated by the balsamic notes that are absorbed from the unique Seralunga soils. But it's in the mouth where the influence of the soil is most noticeable. This wine has an earthy texture that marries pleasantly with the important structure given by the tannins and the alcohols. The chalky limestone soils give this wine a more austere character in the mouth, but the fruitiness and the spiciness are still there and they blend together very well with the bold tannins. So this wine can definitely rest in the cellar where it'll come out even rounder and more complex, but don't worry if you're too excited and just can't wait to drink it. It's absolutely delicious and enjoyable right now. Either if you want to invest in a cellar wine or you're looking for a great wine to drink now, click on the Vero Shop link in the description below to get your hands on this bottle. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our drinking adventures. We'll see you at the next glass. Bye bye.